guys, so today I have a super exciting tutorial for you guys. Today, me and Vegan Beauty Addict, her name is Jess. If you guys haven't heard of her, you probably have because she's amazing. But her and I have teamed up and we have collaborated on a look inspired by the other person. So I'm doing a Vegan Beauty Addict inspired look and then over on her channel, she will have a Kitty Snack inspired look. If you guys don't know, if you guys follow like both of our channels and like Instagrams, you guys know our love affair with each other. We just just like I have just become such close friends and she's just honestly one of the best people that I have met since starting my YouTube channel. She is one of the closest friends that I have made through my YouTube channel. She supports me so much and has supported me since for ever ago. Her and I met, I think we met in like a beauty Facebook page, a like cruelty free and like vegan beauty Facebook page and she just like kept shouting me out on her Instagram and she had like so many followers on Instagram and I was just like this is insane oh my gosh and so she's just like supported me since day one and I just love her to death which you guys probably already know if you are subscribed to my channel because I talk about her all the time and no we're not dating we're just like we're just soul sisters <laughs> So today I wanted to do these bright fun colors because Jess always has such fun colors but of course bringing the kind of dead girl glam aspect into it with like a really light nude lip and like the choker and all of that. This just to me screams vegan beauty addict. So if you guys want to see my look then just keep watching. If you guys want to see her kitty snack inspired look then go over to her channel. I will link it down below and I'll have the video linked down below. And if you are already subscribed to her YouTube channel. Did I already say that? I can say it again. If you aren't ready, subscribe to her YouTube channel and go follow her on Instagram, which you probably already do because she's like kind of a big deal on Instagram. Okay, you guys, let's get into the look. <coughs> okay, first of all, I'm sick. So if I sound super, super stuffy or if I pause to cough at any time in the video, please excuse me. But anyways, let's get started with this makeup look. So first first I'm gonna prime my skin with I know one of Jess's favorites that I told her that I would try more so I'm going to this is the elf poreless primer I did kind of already prime my skin with the elf um, primer mist the like hydrating primer mist but I feel like you need a little bit more and this does like give a really really silky smooth base so gonna give that a try and it has a really really nice peppermint scent to it as well and then with my beauty blender I'm going to take my elf what is this <laughs> elf acne fighting foundation one of my favorite foundations in the world and I'm just gonna squirt a little bit on the back of my hand and buff that all over my skin with my beauty blender because I feel like since this is a vegan beauty addict inspired look I have to use my beauty blender because I know that she swears by hers and her and I like the great thing about Jess and I is that we have kind of really, really different makeup preferences. And it's so funny, like, there's obviously stuff that we both agree that we both love, but there's stuff that she loves and I hate and that I love and she hates. And I think that's just, like, that's so funny because her and I, like, we're really similar in, like, our makeup tastes, but, like, like what we like to see in, like, makeup looks. But product-wise, we totally prefer a lot of different things, so I just think it's really funny, and it just goes to show that, like, people can like different things, you know? Not everybody's gonna like the same thing, and that's okay. Like me? I much prefer my Real Technique sponge, but I'm using this for you, girl. And then I'm gonna go full coverage beat, so I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm gonna kind of heavily go in with this. When I think of Jess... Besides, like, you know, beautiful and funny and sweet, I think drag. Because <laughs> if you guys know her, she is all about RuPaul's Drag Race. It was so funny because I hadn't seen it at all. I hadn't seen that show until I went to L.A. and I stayed with her. And, like, literally, we went to Fame Expo. I went to my Makeup Geek event. Or, like, when I got there on Friday, we, like, hung out. And then we watched Drag Race. And then, like, went to our events and then came home and watched Drag Race and I seriously probably think we went through like a season and a half while I was there. She's just all about it and like on her Snapchat she's always watching different queens on like YouTube so I just that's what I think of and I feel like she would be complimented by that. <laughs> oh around my nose is so red because I've been so sick. I really wanted to film more this weekend 
but I like had my first day off my first day off of school and of work this Friday was it yeah Friday didn't have school didn't have work first day of spring break and I get super sick and I'm just like this is this is fine this is fine okay then I'm going to set my under eyes I can't find my stupid setting brush and it makes me upset I'm just gonna use this elf blush brush I'm just going to set my under eyes then I'm just gonna set the rest of my face real quick with my honest beauty invisible blurring powder Okay, I'm gonna go fill in my eyebrows real quick and then we'll jump straight back in to eyes, which I'm most excited about. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, let's move on with eyes. So when I think of Jess, I think of a couple different colors. One, purple because of her gorgeous hair. Two, pink because that always seems to be in some form of her makeup. And orange. And also black, but black will black is just like obviously a staple so I'm just gonna kind of work with those colors and just hope Jess just like speaks to me and just creates some sort of some sort of look of some cor some sort so I'm first going to pop in to my ColourPop shades I cannot stop using these you guys and the first shade I'm going to st uh, start with is oh my gosh I should know this is wait for it and I'm also gonna take a little bit of making moves after that I need to clean my makeup brushes because I don't know if any of these are clean. Let's hope. So I'm first just going to start with making moves and I'm just going to put this in the inner part of my crease. Let's zoom you guys in, shall we? So I'm going to start in this inner crease and then I'm going to go in with that slightly deeper shade and just darken it a little bit more. That's one thing that Jess and I have in common is we both love are like orangey tones like we both love our salmons and our corals when it comes to like eyeshadow so I'm gonna really play that up so I'm just kind of hopping between those two colors and just deepening up that inner corner okay then I'm gonna go in to my electric palette one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever and I'm gonna take slow burn which is this neon orange and I'm gonna pop that on there as well I don't know what this is going to turn out like, but I don't really care. And then I'm going to take Savage, which is that hot pink, and I'm going to kind of work this kind of right after the orange, if that makes sense. So it kind of goes orange to pink, and then we're going to do purple next. So I'm just kind of, kind of taking it diagonally across my eye. I think we're going to do glitter on the lid, so it doesn't really matter if shadows get on there <clears throat> and then I'm going to take I think jilted first and then urban so jilted urban so first gonna take because this one's more of a pinky purple I'm gonna take that on a slightly shorter blending brush actually I'm gonna take this on this little short angled brush So that's the next color to kind of for it to kind of fade into. Hope you guys can see how I'm doing kind of an ombre, having everything fade into each other. Gonna go back with my blending brush and just kind of blend it a little bit. And then with that same brush, I'm gonna take Urban, which is that darker purple, and just do that on the very outside. And I'm going to really pack this on the outer corner. We'll add a little bit of black later just to give it more depth. Then I'm going to take the blending brush that we used. This is a Sigma E40 by the way. And I'm just going to kind of slightly blend it out and kind of start, start flicking that eyeshadow out as well. Just to kind of start blending it. And then I'm going to go back in with Savage and just pop that on my lid a little bit more. I like the center of the lid. And kind of re-intensify in between the pink and the orange. And then I'm going to take a packing brush with Slow Burn 
and pop that on the inner part of the lid. Then I'm just going to go back in with more Savage, which is the hot pink, and just repack it on just so we get a really, really good gradient from pink, or from orange to purple. Then just go back in the crease a little bit. Okay, we really need like an intense brow bone highlight right now. So I'm gonna go in with Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek on a wet, flat brush. So I'm just gonna wet my brush with my e.l.f. Primer Mist. I definitely should have done my eyeshadow before my foundation, but that's a-okay. And I'm just going to highlight that brow bone. Then I'm going to take my favorite black, which is the black from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm just going to pop that right in this outer corner, just to deepen it. I'm going to start kind of working it in the outer V and slightly drag it into the crease, but not much. Because, let's be real, it's not a vegan beauty addict inspired look unless we use some black. So just kind of deepening that outer V. And I'm stopping the black essentially where like the pink starts in that middle part. That's kind of where I'm stopping the black. And then I'm going to start taking black on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush. This is a lot of blending. It'll be worth it. And take more of the darker purple that we used on the very, very outer part of the shadow. Urban, which is the darker purple, like I said. And just kind of start buffing that out. Not blending too much. Because I do want to keep the black there. I just need it to, you know, blend. I'm going to start taking that purple a little bit on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the ColourPop pencil in, this is like the eyeliner pencil in Boots, which is a neon pink. I'm going to pop that on my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of black on a pencil brush and just kind of start working on my lower lash line a little bit. So I'm just going to deepen it up on the outer part. Then I think I'm going to do glitter on the inner part. Because again, I feel like it's not a vegan beauty addict inspired look unless we add glitter somewhere. Then I'm going to take a little bit of purple on that same angled brush and just kind of put that purple right below the black. And then, god this is a very, this is I feel like, are you guys keeping up? I feel like this is kind of a all over the place intense tutorial. <laughs> and then, nope, that's a dirty ass brush. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of Savage on a pencil brush, which is that hot pink. And place it on the inner corner and drag it into the kind of blackish purple. And if you guys do want to recreate this look with a vegan eyeshadow palette, I know that Ofra has a neon eyeshadow palette that's really similar to the Urban Decay Electric. I also think the Urban Decay Electric might be discontinued. Like, I think you can still get it, but I think they're discontinuing it. So, um, I know she has a discount code for it. It'll probably be on her page. I think it's like, I think it's like Vegan Beauty 3 or something, or 30 or something like that. But it gets you 30% off. Shameless plug for her discount codes. <laughs> But if you are a vegan baby and want to recreate this look with a different eyeshadow palette, you can use the Ofra one. Okay, now I'm going to add some glitter. This is the Makeup Geek Sparkler in Stargazer. So I'm just going to try to find... God, I need to clean my brushes. It's not even funny. So I'm going to take this Makeup Geek Outer V brush. It's kind of a slightly fluffy pencil brush. And we're going to wet it with my same e.l.f. spray. This seriously is like the closest thing to Fix Plus I have found since going cruelty free. It's amazing. And I'm just going to dunk it right into the sparkler. And just pop it right in that inner corner. And I also think I'm going to take a little bit on the lid. 
Ooh, that's really pretty. I like using this brush because since it's kind of, uh, I don't know, since it's kind of like fluffy, it makes for like doing kind of gradient glitter really, really easy. Again, on the inner corner, and then right on the center of the lid. This sparkler is really, really pretty. It's like almost subtle in a way. Like when I pressed it onto my eyes, it kind of like melded in with the eyeshadow. I don't know, I really like it. And then I'm just gonna pack it on a little bit more intensely, a little bit more opaque in the inner corner. Okay, we're going to put a hold on the eyes right now, and we're going to move on to face and finish that up. So first, I want a chiseled, sculpted look, so I'm going to take... I'm going to take my NYX blush in taupe, and start kind of chiseling out this zit right here. And just kind of slightly contour my nose. And then for bronzer, I want to go in with a very soft bronzer, so I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And this is just on a BH Cosmetics angled brush. And just kind of slightly warm up the skin. For blush, I want to keep it really just kind of neutral, so I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Blush in Rose Champagne. Just apply a little bit of that. Towards the back of the cheeks, I don't want to focus it on the apples of the cheeks. Just because I think it makes my face look a little bit more round. I don't want my face to look a little bit more angular. <coughs> okay, and then for highlight, I haven't used this in a second, but it's one of my favorite highlights. It is the Ofra and Dupe That collab in You Glow Girl. And again, you can use Jess's vegan or Jess's discount code for or for Ofra. Oh my god, I can't talk. But this is just such a beautiful, like, look how intense that is. Intense highlight, especially if you have pale skin. And I'm going to go ham. Like, I'm going to go in hard with this highlight. Hit the, my nose. And my cupid's bow. Okay, I don't want to do winged liner, but I want to apply lashes. So what I'm going to do is what I usually do, and I take my Steely Style Stylus Liner, and I'm just going to press it to the roots of my lashes just so it darkens up my lash band to make it easier to apply lashes. See, it just applies just a thin line of eyeliner to where once we... It doesn't subtract from the eyeshadow, and once we put on lashes, it like, it just hides the band really well. Okay, and then I'm going to go apply some lashes. Ooh, today, as I drop them everywhere, I'm going to use the Ardell Double Up in the style 206. Jess, I see her wearing these lashes all the freaking time, and I haven't tried them because, honestly, they look a little weird in the packaging, and she was like, girl, I know they look weird, but just try them. So today, when I was shopping at the store, I saw these, and I was like, I have to get them. Like, I'm doing this tutorial tonight. I have to get them. So I'm going to go apply these real quick, and we will be right back. Okay, you guys, those, these lashes are kind of insane insane but they're so pretty if you like spidery <clears throat> lashes this is like they're like there was a dead spider on my floor the other day and this is what its legs looked like and I'm so into it <laughs> okay so for lips when I think of Jess I either think of like a pale like coral nude like a super super pale, pale coral nude or the stereotypical dead girl glam gray nude so I'm gonna kind of do something kind of in between so first, I'm going to take this Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Girl Next Door. It's a super freaking pale nude shade, so I'm just going to line my lips and fill in my lips with this first. This is seriously like my ideal lip liner shade. And they're so creamy. Like, I could seriously wear this alone as a lipstick, and I would be content. I need to remember to talk about this in my favorites video. I'm going to make a note of it right now. 
And then I'm going to top, uh, what? And then on top, I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Iconic Lipstick in the shade Naive, which is a really gorgeous kind of peachy nude. And I'm going to place that more in the center of the lips. Okay, guys, and this is the completed look. Of course, I had to put on a choker and put my hair in fun buns because this wouldn't be a vegan beauty addict inspired look without them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. This is honestly one of my favorite looks that I have done in a really, really long time. So thank you, Jess, for inspiring this look because I seriously love how it turned out. I just love her bold use of color and her just like, she just like goes for it with just like crazy colors and just like going to work. We'll just like rock like pink and purple eyeshadow and I'm just like, slay. Slay! I really love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you guys want to see her video, which was a kitty snack inspired look, I will link her channel and her video down below. Please, if you haven't already, go subscribe to her channel. She does amazing videos. She's an amazing person. I seriously can't say enough good things about her. So if you don't already, which I'm sure you probably already do, follow her on her Instagram. And if you aren't, go subscribe to her channel and send her so much love. She honestly deserves so much of it. So, you guys, that is all that I have for you guys today. Make sure you go give her love, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!